I was a freshman back in 1955, and uh, you know it was just a, a real spectacle to see for the first time uh, to see what happened. I didn't really realize the history of the mask rider or how it got started or anything till later, but uh, it was fun. It, it may be one of the uh, traditions that uh, is more Texas Tech than, than most. It's something that uh, our fans, our students, our players, it's uh, something that everybody is proud of, is to have that uh, mask rider and horse to lead the team on uh, the field. Well, the first thing you think of is his role as the mask rider. Um, I guess I became a aware of that in the mid-90s more because that's when I began working with the program and so that's the first thing that jumps off the page is you know he was the first mask rider so he had some initiative he had some people that thought enough of him to put him in that role to represent Tech in that first Gator Bowl so that's the first thing and then as I began to know Joe Kirk and know a little bit of the history um, you know he was very involved in the Quarter Horse Association particularly in the racehorse business and uh, you know he had a great impact on the horses that he raised and sold and and race through through quarter horses as well. So I guess I see him as in both roles, both as a you know pioneer in our mascot program, but also an influential person in the in the quarter horse business as well. I don't think anybody, when Joe Kirk first made that first ride in the Gator Bowl, realized how important of a tradition the mask rider and horse would become for Texas Tech and. Uh, Joe Kirk is synonymous with that tradition. He'll always be remembered as the guy who uh, made the first ride and established maybe one of our greatest traditions.